Today I'm going to review maybe the best wide-angle budget lens you can find on the market for full-frame cameras that goes very well with the Nikon ZF because of its compactness. The Viltrox 20mm f2.8 AF lens. Hello everyone, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and video maker and I run this YouTube channel where I review lenses, cameras and much more, so for more video reviews, subscribe! This lens has a surprising price of just $169, which is an insanely competitive price on the full frame market. So is the Viltrox 20mm f2.8 a must have? Let's find out. The build quality is pretty good for a lens in this price range. It is made from a good quality plastic. It has a black matte finish with white subtle markings. The lens hood is nice. You know how much I complain about lens hoods, but this one is nice and fits the lens like a lens hood should. Firm. Surprisingly, this lens has a metal mount. Nikon budget lenses like this 40mm f2 don't, so thumbs up for that. On the metal mount, we can find an USB Type-C port for future firmware updates, but no rubber gasket, so no weather sealing. At this price, I'm okay with that. The lens is small and compact in my opinion compared to other lenses on the market, and fits the Nikon ZF pretty well. It is also very lightweight, 173 grams, making it a great option for travel photography, street and long hikes. The focus ring is nice, decent quality rubber, turns smoothly and it is very well damped. It also rotates infinitely in both directions because it is electronic. It has a 52mm filter thread and a minimum focus distance of 19cm, but more on this later. The autofocus for photography is decently fast and reliable. I use the lens on the Nikon ZF, so if you use an older camera, you may have different results than me. I used this lens for a while and after going through all the photos, I found just two missed shots. That is very good for a budget lens. The lens in general works like a native lens, I had no unexpected problems or quirks. The autofocus for video again works very well in any mode or situation. You can easily vlog with this lens, eye and face tracking work very very well. It can also be a good option for events or any type of video work where you need a wide angle lens. Combined with the ZF, I never had a miss focus in video with it. Great job Viltrox! The only downside for a video is focus breathing, as you can see here it is not the worst and I was expecting this on a budget lens. Now let's talk about image quality. In my opinion, this lens is sharp in the center starting from f2.8. The corners are a bit soft, but they still have plenty of details and contrast. Maybe this would be different on a higher megapixel camera. Stopping down to f4 improves the overall image, better contrast and details in the center and the corners also look better now. If you stop down to f5.6 the image is sharp with very good contrast from corner to corner. Stopping down further doesn't improve the already great image quality, at f16 the image is starting to look a bit soft from the effects of diffraction. You can always crop those corners at f2.8 if you want the image to look great wide open. For a 20mm f2.8 this lens performs very well when it comes to chromatic aberrations, I haven't seen any in my testing. The one thing I should mention is vignetting, it is pretty visible at f2.8, stopping the lens down gradually improves this. Now let's talk about minimum focus distance. This lens can get you as close as 19cm and it is pretty sharp from f2.8, but the image looks amazing at f4. When it comes to flare, yes you can see flare if you shoot against a powerful source of light. The lens would help if the source is close to the corners. 
If you stop down this lens, you can get my favorite effect on wide-angle lenses, and that is sun stars. Not the best looking, but good enough, starting from f5.6, and they look the best at f11. Overall, a great new lens from Viltrox. Since the release of the 13mm f1.4, a lens I reviewed a couple of times, Viltrox have managed to make some amazing lenses, like my favorite 27mm f1.0 Pro. Even if this lens isn't as good as those, it is still a great option from Viltrox. This may be the best budget wide angle you can find in 2024 for Nikon Z cameras. Good image quality, compact and lightweight, great for travel, and the build quality is pretty good for the price. And finally, yes, the price, which in my opinion is incredible. So if you are looking for a lens like this, I highly recommend the Viltrox 20mm f2.8. It is great for beginners and professionals alike. If this video was helpful, please subscribe, ring the bell, and if you want to support the channel even more, use the links in the description at no extra cost to you. See you next time.